Tomorrow's election day will be a historic one for the state of Michigan. For the first time ever, a city council is going to vote uh, using a new voting method you may not have ever heard of. Now, Rod Maloney is in East Point with a look at the change and what people are thinking about it. Back in 2017, the Department of Justice sued the city of East Point, saying that their council elections were not fair to black voters. They settled out of court to keep it from getting too expensive, and now they have something new here. It's called ranked choice voting, and it's getting mixed reviews. It's an entirely new day for Michigan's electioneering. East Point City Council candidate Mary Hall Rayford's Facebook video didn't do the tried and true. Please rank me number one, or at least number two. And that's because in this year's election, there are four candidates for two seats, and in ranked choice voting, you pick your first, second, third, and fourth choices in order. I do know a lot of residents are not happy with the ranked choice voting. I keep encouraging them to vote because otherwise, you know, their vote really won't count. I'm not happy about it. One of her opponents is the former East Point mayor, Harvey Curley. I guess I'm frustrated with the, the federal government coming in to a local community accusing of uh, us of doing something wrong and saying, now you've got to do it this way or else. And over at City Hall, residents turning in their absentee ballots gave us their take on this new way to exercise your most basic American right. You have to be honest and, and fair, and this will do it. This will do it. Takes the most popular, their first, and then you vote for a second person. To me, it's not a one man, one vote kind of thing. You're splitting your vote. Uh, do you get 100% of your vote going to the candidate of your choice? You don't. Whether you like it or don't like it, this is going to be the way they vote not only this time, but also for the next council election. It's the election after that that things return to where they used to be. In East Point, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod, and taking a look at just a few of the other notable elections happening tomorrow, Ann Arbor is going to vote on a $1 billion bond for school improvements. Livonia and Warren both holding mayoral elections, and Sterling Heights has a millage to fund police and fire departments along with street repairs. You can find a sample ballot for your community.